Hey, and welcome back. Um, this particular video is going to be about the safe technology that is built into the Sport Cub S. And uh, I have another airplane uh, that has safe mode in it, and it's identical uh, to the safe mode in this from Horizon Hobby, obviously, because Horizon is the only one with a um, trademark called safe mode or safe technology. It is a trademark. Uh, so the three modes for safe technology. Um, <clears throat> the beginner mode is very limited. Uh, it does um, very small nose up, very small nose down. And the roll is limited to, I don't know, 30 degrees or so. Um, um, about 30 degrees is all you're going to get. I'll, we'll see that when we do the first flight on this. Because uh, I'll fly it in all three modes in the in the maiden flight. <clears throat> the intermediate mode is a little inter more interesting. Um, the safe mode is very good um, uh, for beginners, and a beginner mode. If you've never flown this an airplane like this before, get a big field with nobody around, um, but but and try this. But uh, my personal recommendation is always go to a RC flying field, which you can find at the um, um, at the Academy of Model Aeronautics uh, website, which is modelaircraft.org. Uh, Academy of Model Aeronautics is known as the AMA, and you can find any flying field in the country, um, in the U.S., anyways, um, uh, on their website, and you can find a local flying field and go out there and have somebody help you. Um, but if you're going to try this in, in, in a... Get a large field like a soccer field with nobody on it and uh, get out in the middle and uh, you can give it a try and hopefully you'll be successful and not crash. Um, the beginner mode will help with that. In fact, if you just, um, uh, if you get up and, and uh, have a problem, just let go of the sticks because in beginner mode the um, plane will uh, go back to straight and level. So it's self-correcting in beginner mode, basically. If you start a turn and you let go of the sticks, it will turn itself back to a level flight. So just let go of the sticks in beginner mode and it'll be all right. If you're in beginner mode and you want to land, uh, one way to do that is to pull the uh, throttle back and let go of the sticks and it'll just go into a gentle glide uh, down, or at least it should. My air, my previous airplane with safe mode did that very well. And sort of at the last minute, do a gentle pull of the elevator and you make a nice smooth landing. Uh, if you're on grass, this thing is going to stop on a dime because uh, these, these wheels won't roll on grass, um, which will I'll explain later when we get ready to do the maiden flight. Uh, sometimes you have to launch by hand um, sometimes you can launch off of a sidewalk nearby or a dirt path, uh, but launching off of any grass might be difficult for these small wheels. <clears throat> so that's beginner mode. Uh, it's going to level itself and uh, help you land safely. Intermediate mode, you can go um, up to 90 degrees of bank, but it won't let you roll inverted. And it'll let you go up about mm, 40, 45 degrees nose up before it stops you and uh, um, the beginner mode as I, I should have said with beginner mode on the on the radio is the position zero which is all the way back toward the handle intermediate mode is in the middle called position one written on the um, uh, on the radio and then position two is uh, experience mode. So zero, one, two, beginner, intermediate, advanced. <clears throat> so the intermediate mode is going to limit you to 90 degrees of bank, about 40, 45 degrees nose up, and so you can't do a loop and you can't roll it over. And that's okay. That uh, uh, helps you fly because uh, very often the next step after the beginner mode is to learn to fly steeper bank turns and pull it around and learn the real way you fly an airplane, which is when you put in ailerons, it stays there till you roll it back out. In intermediate mode, it does not self-level. So beginner mode, it does self-level. Intermediate mode, it does not. Um, and so 
you can do a steep bank turn steep bank to me is 60 degrees of bank up to 75 maybe not maybe close to 90 but uh, over 90 degrees of bank you're no longer turning <laughs> you're heading down um, uh, so intermediate mode is good uh, the next step experience mode there is no restrictions you can do loops you can roll it anything you like I wouldn't recommend doing try doing too many acrobat acrobatic maneuvers on this thing but in experience mode I'm sure it'll do a loop and a roll and we'll find that out uh, on the maiden flight <clears throat> and lastly there's the panic mode panic mode is I don't know what's going on and hit the panic button so the panic button on this uh, uh, DX4 is this little button here it's usually a trainer button on my DX9 it would be this uh, bind button typically it is the bind button on a radio because uh, it's a momentary switch and uh, so when all else fails um, put the stick to neutral and uh, hit the panic button uh, and if you pull the pull it to idle and hit the panic button it's going to level the airplane and the idle power will help it uh, just gently glide to the ground. Um, so if you get yourself in a situation, you're in, a, in the experience mode and you don't know what to do, hit the panic button. The panic button works in all three modes, by the way. Um, so that's what panic mode is for, is to help you prevent a crash because it will quickly, if you try to do half a loop and you're inverted, it will quickly um, right itself uh, and level itself and then you can take let go of the panic button don't leave the panic button in um, had a guy at my field that uh, didn't realize that he had hit the panic button and it was a, <clears throat> as a switch on his radio which it may maybe it shouldn't have been but that's what it was he hit he accidentally hit the switch and couldn't figure out why he couldn't fly it anymore because in panic mode no matter what you do to this stick over here uh, nothing's going to happen uh, the throttle still works, but the rudders and the elevators and the ailerons don't work in, pa in panic mode. And so, to finish the story, he hit the top of a tree, the wind blew it, blew it out, and he safely got his airplane back. <coughs> don't recommend that. Um, so, um, that's the four modes, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Okay, and in all three modes, the panic button works. Um, so we'll get to see that in the maiden flight. Thank you for watching this video and uh, please stay tuned for the next one.